Welcome to this episode of Ravo Harvesting. The time taken for uh, the BSF rabbit to reach the harvesting stage depends on how rich the substrate, the feeding substrate is in protein. Substrates that have high protein content in them, BSF rabbit develops very fast. When they reach the fifth insta, which is this, the stage that I'm holding, you need to stop feeding so that the substrate can dry and then we start harvesting from there so we scoop bit by bit then we use a sieve like the one that i mentioned on the other side and then place them on a mesh in case there was any pupae that was in the harvesting stage will be left on the mesh and all the moving stages will go down the mesh and we end up with a clean product like this. We have two end products. We have the BSF frass and we have our harvest, the BSF Ravi, the fifth insta. Reason why we are doing it on top of the mesh is to get rid of the remnant of the waste and also to separate pupae from this fifth insta which is a moving stage because the, pro the protein that we are looking for is raw in pupae as compared to the fifth insta that the farmers are looking for but even before we start harvesting we need to have a stable colony throughout that is we need to have all the stages at every given moment we need eggs we need young larvae we need the fifth instance for harvesting and we need prepupa that will then proceed to pupation stage which goes back to our larve cages there and emerge into adults and give us fries. So part of the trace that reach fifth insta, we let them proceed to the sixth insta which is this dark stage you see here and this is the stage that turns into pupa after 14 days and pupa is like what I have in this container they are dark in color and then they are dormant they look like they are dead but they are not dead and this is what is taken to the cages there to give us adults that will now start the new cycle of egg harvesting that was all about the rubber harvesting but remember as a farmer we need to leave 20% of the larvae that have reached the fifth insta as stock for our colony maintenance. After the break, my colleague Eric will take you through larval processing and drying. Welcome back after the break and I'm going to take you through the larvae processing from harvesting to the end product. This is how we are going to do it. After you have harvested your larvae, you will uh, use hot water to sterilize them. So you pour hot water in the basin like this, and then you scoop your larvae, you immerse them into water, and give them 10 minutes to sterilize or to die. Those 10 minutes also help to kill pathogens so that uh, wherever there is a uh, parasites along the guts they will die so to avoid the transition into your feed formulation so after waiting 10 minutes when the 10 minutes are over you drain you drain your your hot water using the sieve like this i've just confirmed that uh, larvae are sterilized and are dead so after this, you, you shake a little bit just to uh, make sure the drained water to go. Then you remain with your larvae. You pour it here again. So this larvae which are dead, they are the ones you will take to the oven. Or you can use a dryer. We have solar dryer, we have LPG dryer that you can uh, dry this larvae. For those who don't have those ones, uh, the machines to dry, you can use the natural source, which is sunlight. You spread, it can be in a polythene or any type of, any, any type of uh, drying mechanism. 
the shelf storage for dried larvae is uh, 12 months. That's one year. Or you can uh, mill this larvae, the dry larvae. These are now the dry larvae, dried using oven. This is what you'll, uh, you'll, uh, you'll mill into powder for feed formulation. Remember, the, the protein percentage we are looking is to substitute the expensive fish meal and soya bean. So after you have formulated, you will pick the powder and take it to nutritionist who may be already advising you on how to formulate. So that's, that's how we do it. And that will be the end product after you have done everything on the larvae harvesting and the processing. And there's another method of uh, drying the larvae, which is uh, blast freezing for the export. For the farmers who are doing commercially, it will be suitable for them to use that uh, heavy machine to, to, to dry the larvae in a large packaging. For a small hold farmer who cannot afford a miller or a mill, can, you, can, can feed this larvae, the end product, directly to his uh, livestock. It can be fish, uh, chicken, or pig. But for the commercial purpose, you can uh, take this hole the way it is to the miller to process it for you into a powder form so that you can be making products, different products, uh, depending on the livestock formulation feed. This brings us to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we are going to look at the benefit of organic fertilizer. Until then, remember to subscribe.